Hey folks, Phil the Bee Man here. It's time to super up. The uh, flowers are blooming. We're sort of right at the onset of our major summer honey flow. So I've got uh, hives here that are doubles. And the queen is free range right now. And I want to operate these as a single brood chamber colonies. So that means I've got to get that queen into the bottom box. I've got well over a thousand to do. Um, so finding the queen, shaking, don't have time for, for any of those sort of, uh, you know, detail-based uh, type operations. I've tried lots of different ways of doing this in the past. But what I'm going to do is, is uh, knock the queen down and all the bees by blowing. So coming back here, uh, this shows uh, sort of the, the, the main brood chamber and then we've set off the second and these seconds will have typically some brood in them lots of eggs in there lots of brood there so the queen is definitely a pretty good chance of being in that second box and so what we're going to do is uh, I've made these rims. This is actually just a honey super that was damaged or something wrong with it and I've just knocked it down. I took an inch and a half off the top and the bottom so and then drilled these holes in the side to provide some just basically venting and so then I'm going to put that second box back on top of the rim and I'm going to use my bee blower to blow all the bees into the bottom box and uh, then we'll put the excluder on, put the second on and then a third honey super. Alright, so I'm going to put my mask up because you'd probably get away with this with, uh, without a veil but it might be crazy but I'm not stupid. So, and Dave, you can just get us focused on the frames here. And you can see those that hasn't freaked that hive out especially much. Do it again. scooters in. Oh, there it is. Thank you. So that box with the brood in it goes right back on top. And that'll provide the same sort of uh, continuity those bees want to get up onto that brood. So they'll be super keen to, to get into that. Oh, this is the box you wanted for here, right? Nope.
I'll be back uh, hopefully two weeks or so. There'll be lots of honey starting to build in that third box and we'll start stacking them up. The singles will be done the same way we showed the other day. Uh, these are probably uh, replacement splits. Yeah, that's a new queen this year. So they're just a little bit behind and we'll shake a couple frames of brood off and put them above the scooter, uh, the way I showed in a previous video. Uh, the reason I cut these those rims down, you don't have, that's certainly not a necessary step, uh, although it's nice not to have the lip from the uh, frame rest, but to uh, just, I thought it was a bit of a more of an ergonomic height. Uh, the full box was just a little bit high to hold the blower. So that's the only reason these were cut down. The holes are to provide um, just a little bit of, of space for that, mm -hmm. that air to uh, leave instead of trying to blow the bees down and then, then they come flying back at you if, if it's, there's no escape for that air pressure. Seems to work pretty good. I mean, I, I blew those bees and now uh, I don't feel any of them bouncing off of my mask. Uh, they're not especially upset with us. Um, they seem quite content, in fact. So I think in terms of is this hard on the bees or does it rile them up too much, that's not what I'm seeing at all. What I'm seeing is uh, when, you, uh, when you get a bit of a flow going on and the bees have something to do, man, you can get away with a lot. Uh, for years and years, the way I used a blower was as a, as a tool of last resort when they were robbing and the sun wasn't shining and everything was going bad, then you got the blower out. And that was almost always a miserable experience. Uh, <laughs> the start of summer, totally different. It's just fine. That's all. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.